and then we have these interrows which have been cultivated with various different consortiums so in the first one we have only cover crops we have a like three different sun hemp's forget about sustainability you want to enrich ecosystems every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance keep it pruned we are cultivating abundance not a problem to cut down trees the problem is not planting them what is up youtube welcome to the agroforestry academy channel i'm going to show you today an agroforestry system that has just been implemented during a course here in Espírito Santo, Brazil and it's focused on pineapple and Brazilian pepper so let's take a look at the the outcome of the course check it out so here's the thing this um this is my mate's house right he lives here it's it's an indigenous territory here in Brazil in the city of Aracruz and one of the native species here is the Brazilian pepper which is that one this one right here and it grows wild all around uh, it produces I don't know if you guys are familiar with it but it produces uh, a, a small fruit which is used as a seasoning it's usually mixed with black pepper uh, and you know it's ground and used in, in to, to season food and there's a one of the biggest exporters in the world is from around this area because this is the area with most Brazilian pepper in Brazil so we're we're implementing systems that will have Brazilian pepper as a crop because most of the most of the production is done just through uh, people just collect them in the wild very few people plant them and the idea of my mate Luis is to stimulate and encourage the cultivation of Brazilian pepper so that's why we have the system so the the rows of trees are spaced at every 3.6 meters so there's there's one here there's one here and then we've got two rows of pineapples in between right you can see that we have pineapples which is also one of the main crops here and it, it's actually the main crop it's the one that's gonna produce the most revenue uh, so we have pineapple in the rows of, in the row of trees as well so the pineapple rows are every 1.6 1.2 meters sorry it's about four feet in the row of trees we have a a nest every three me every 1.5 meters and it's alternated between let me show you the one that's already planted we have banana brazilian pepper you can see the young little baby here banana brazilian pepper banana brazilian pepper so we have bananas every three meters and brazilian pepper every three meters as well and then we in the in the rows with the pineapples we added some corn and tobacco very spaced apart at like four meters um, and then we have these inter rows which have been cultivated with various different consortiums so in the first one we have only cover crops we have a like three different sun hemp's we've got castor beans and we've got rice but rice here is only for as a cover crop in this one we have rice with sesame and this one the rice is actually meant for harvest this one we've got lemongrass because my mate's wife Barbara does some uh, oil essential oil distilling she wants to distill um, lemon pepper I mean not lemon pepper sorry lemongrass lemongrass and then we're gonna have beans in these two furrows on the edges of the bed the next one I think he's gonna do we haven't planted this yet I think he's gonna do 
uh, rice and sesame as well. So this is a pretty interesting system. In this spacing we have about 22,000 pineapple plants per hectare. In this area that was planted during the course we have 500 pineapples. So a couple of things. This course was uh, was intended to bring not only the, the agroforestry principles and and how to plant you know the practical aspects of how to plant but also the financial viability of systems so we did a study I mean with with the students in order to to assess the costs of the system how much revenue we expect to get you know how, how much money can be made from it and one of the interesting things to, to that we have uh, realized, and it's something that I've been realizing for a while, th this needs to be to be understood by everybody, is that we added banana to the system, and this is a very small plot, and that's fine. But adding banana to the system increases the cost per hectare in eight thousand reais. It's about a thousand five hundred or two thousand dollars per hectare uh, if you if you work in acres that would be about one one bit, a bit more than one third of that so 8,000 highs would be something like three three thousand five hundred reais which is about I don't know, nine nine hundred dollars per acre so that it would add nine hundred dollars of investment per acre so and my friend doesn't really want to to harvest bananas as a commercial crop. The idea is only to use it as a service species, you know, for biomass production. And that's all fine, but the increased cost per acre is just ridiculous. So we have already decided, you know, we discussed it. And as he expands, he's going to take the banana out and it's going to use only cheap crops for organic matter production. One of them is going to be moringa trees. Moringa is going to be the the main one. We actually planted some some moringa stems here and he's going to add some uh, from seed as well. So this brings me to the concept which I consider not only a concept but a rule. Your service species can never be more demanding than your main crops. So, but uh, pineapple and Brazilian pepper, they're, they're not demanding at all. You know, pineapple is one of the least demanding fruits in terms of soil quality and, uh, and rainfall and everything. And Brazilian pepper as well, because it grows wild in this kind of environment. You know, with no tilling, no, no soil correction, no lime, no manure, no nothing. Of course, it doesn't reach maximum productivity in this situation, but it grows. So adding banana as a main crop just doesn't make any sense. Because I would have to, we had a, a very, it was a lot of work to put the bananas here because they need a big nest, they need manure, they need rock dust, they need a bunch of things in order to produce properly. And then to plant a banana without all of this and to have a, a weak banana makes no sense at all. So the idea here will be, like I said, to work a lot with Moringa as he expands because he has another five to six hectares that he wants to plant. And we're going to try to devise that, uh, that project. And to use the cover crops. The cover crops will be the organic matter producers. They're going to be... Uh, feeding microorganisms in the soil they're going to be feeding the soil the pineapple itself is well planted it's well manured it's well fertilized according to to the uh, to the proper technical recommendations uh, once this pineapple is about eight months old to one year it's already going to be crossing leaves here so we're going to have five months of of crops in between they're going to leave their legacy they're going to leave their organic matter and then the pineapple is going to be doing a green cover of the whole soil and we're going to have organic matter from our moringa trees in this case we're going to have the bananas but in future plots we're not going to have the bananas anymore 
So I just like to, to finish by suggesting that you always think about that. Don't add service species that are more demanding than your main crop, otherwise the system becomes impossible. It's unfeasible. Just for you to have an idea, the bananas would uh, would increase the cost of the system per he per, I mean, per hectare, per acre, whatever, in but more than 30%. So it, it would cost 30% more to implement the system if you had bananas in this spacing than it would if you didn't have the bananas. So this makes a big difference on how much you can do, what scale it can achieve. All right, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, check out our full agroforestry course. I'm gonna leave a card here. If you want to support the channel, join us in our Patreon community. You can support us and get access to some extra goodies. So I thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.